dealershipnews.com followers. This is Sean Kelly, the Car Biz Coach, CEO and owner of Car Motivators. We are bringing coaching to the car business and your exclusive dealershipnews.com vlog. Now today's vlog is all about employee turnover likelihood. Wouldn't it be great if you could predict to the month which employees were gonna quit on you and when and why? And you could actually prevent it from happening by turning it around and knowing exactly what you could do to keep them on your team longer and get them more motivated and help them achieve greater success for your dealership? Well, I'm slowly proving my theory into a reality to a 99% accuracy with all the data that I'm gathering from my dealerships as I do this across the country. And I'm actually measuring employee turnover likelihood. And today I'm gonna to share with you in the dealershipnews.com followers how I'm doing this. It's so important, especially in today's market, because if you think about it, guys, there are actually more jobs available than there are people looking for jobs. And what that means for you as a dealership is if you've got turnover and you're losing employees, there's a high probability it's gonna be a challenge replacing them, unless you recruit from like a penitentiary or something. Not to say that ex-inmates don't need jobs and don't make good salesmen, maybe they do. But my point, guys, is that you want to retain your employees. Why? Because employee retention equals customer retention and a lot less headaches for your managers. I mean, Lord knows, I don't know what manager likes recruiting, retraining, rehiring, recruiting, rehiring, retraining over and over and over like Groundhog's Day. No one does, right? So if you can retain your employees, that's gonna free you up as a sales manager or sales leader to do more activities that help you generate the results you want. All right, so let's talk about how we can measure turnover likelihood and then prevent losing these employees from, uh, you know, in the first place, all right? So here's my theory on turnover likelihood. First off, looking at what keeps an employee on your team. I think there's two factors. Really, it's that simple. Two factors keep your employee on the team, all right? Imagine the x-axis. And the x-axis, my friends, is employee motivation needs. Now, there's 10 of these, 10 employee motivation needs. And if they're met at a high level, your employees will run through brick walls for your dealership and for you as a manager. Now, that being said, if they're not met, then they are gonna be extremely unmotivated to come to work every day. So imagine an x-axis with those employee motivation needs, you know, and just to name a few. Um, am I free to make my own choices or am I micromanaged? Um, do they listen to my ideas or, again, am I micromanaged? Do, am I more than a number to my company or am I just a freaking number and they'll just brush me off uh, like yesterday's news if I don't produce results, right? Um, am I being recognized for a job well done? Uh, do I have a, a leader to model after, someone who cares, has character, competence, is good at what they do, and coaches me? Um, also, is work fun? Is, is coming to work fun every day? So those are just a few of them, but of the 10 needs, right, the, the higher up they're met, the more motivated your employees are. Now, I want you to imagine a y-axis, okay? Now, the y-axis is all about success perception. And what I mean by that, now, remember, I was in psychological operations in the Army. So perception is reality. If you have an employee that perceives that they are not making enough money and they could go somewhere else and do just as well or even better, all right, then their chances of them quitting your dealership are much higher, okay? Now, if on the other hand, you've got an employee that believes, you know what, I'm doing really well financially here and I couldn't make more money if I went somewhere else and his family believes in that and there's a few other factors involved, but bottom line is this, if they feel that way, then the chance of them staying on your team are much greater. So imagine the, the x-axis is the motivation needs, the y-axis is the success perception. Now I wanna share with you when, you when you ask the right questions, and I've got about 40 to 50 questions that I can ask someone and tell you if they're gonna quit within the next 30, or 30 to 60 days, uh, 90 to 120 days, or if they're gonna stay on your team long-term and they're not even thinking about leaving. So let me share with you what those quadrants are, okay? If they're unmotivated and they're, they believe they can make more money elsewhere, their success perception is low, they're over here, Okay, and that is frustrated disengagement. Those people are gonna quit, I promise you that, unless you do something about it. You've gotta get their motivation level up or their success levels up, it's that simple. If they're in one of these two quadrants, right, the caddy corner quadrants, if they're unmotivated but money, they're making good money, then those people are in the driven success uh, bucket. They're in the driven success quadrant, meaning, um, man, I'm making good money here, uh, but you know, I really hate coming to work every day. I can't stand my boss or the team or whatever. Those people are unmotivated. Those people, you run the risk of them being recruited by another manager at another store, I promise you. Those people have a, can have a fairly high probability of quitting within the next uh, three to six months. And then down here, um, if they're extremely motivated, they love their team, they love coming to work, but they're financially distressed, then bottom line, my friends, those people may also be pushed out by their family. Their wife may say, 
get a different job. I'm sick of you not bringing home the bacon, you know? Now, the bucket, we want everyone in. And by the way, I call that one lackadaisical fulfillment, okay? Now, the bucket, the quadrant that we need everyone to be in, my friends, is inspired satisfaction. Those people are financially secure, financially satisfied. They are, they're not worrying about money. Their family is happy uh, with the level of success they're achieving. And they're extremely motivated and enjoy coming to work every day. Those people are going to stick with you a long time, my friends. That bucket is where you need to move your employees. So I challenge you to find out how motivated they are. Find out what their success perception is. And if it's low, if motivation is low, if success perception is low, you've got to figure out a way to get them into the, um, the inspired satisfaction quadrant. Okay, my friends. And if you do that, they'll stay on your team longer and you won't have to go fishing for the next random employee that probably isn't going to make it anyway. All right. So hopefully these tips have helped you guys. Um, this is Sean Kelly, the CEO of car motivators. Again, we are coaching the car business and bringing you the dealershipnews.com exclusive vlog. Have a great rest of your October. Knock it out of the park. My friends, this is Sean Kelly out.